Experiment number one, Ka of methyl red. In this experiment, we will determine the value of Ka of methyl red. But what is Ka? A stands for acid. K stands for equilibrium constant. K sub A stands for acid ionization equilibrium constant. What's the color of methyl red? Well, it can be red in an acidic solution, but it can be yellow in a basic solution. Sometimes when we have both the acidic form and the basic form of methyl red, the color is orange. Again, the goal is to determine the value of the acid ionization equilibrium constant for methyl red. We can write out the equation in this form. HIN can decompose into H plus and IN minus in water. Again, HIN denotes methyl red. H plus sometimes can be written as H3O plus, hydronium. But for convenience, we'll just write H plus. IN minus is the basic form of methyl red. What's the molecular structure of methyl red? It's really complicated here, but we don't have to pay attention to the detail except for this hydrogen. So when we place this organic molecule in water, this H may leave this molecular structure and become H plus. And then this structure is negatively charged. It's IN minus, the basic form of methyl red. We'll use this number later. The molecular weight of methyl red is 269.3 gram per mole. Now let's look at this equation. The equilibrium constant of any reaction is always products divided by reactants. We have two products, H plus, IN minus, so we put them on top. We have only one reactant, HIN, so we put HIN on the bottom. The goal is to determine this value. So how do we achieve this goal? We need to determine the value of this H plus, IN minus, HIN. So to determine the concentration of H plus, we're going to use a pH probe to determine the concentrations of IN minus and HIN we'll have to use absorbance spectroscopy. So now let's look at some colors. This is a color wheel. When a molecule absorbs green light, it appears red. When a molecule absorbs violet light, it appears yellow. And this is why this methyl red looks red. It absorbs green color. Let's look at this absorbance spectro spectroscopy. This HIN is the acidic form of methyl red. It absorbs light around 520. And this is maximum absorbance around 520 over here. 520, it's green light. It's going to absorb green light. Therefore, it appears red. Uh, what about the basic form? If you look at the basic form, it absorbs a wide range uh, around 400 to 450, so you can see, well, 400, 450, it's a violet line over here, and then it appears yellow. So that's why this IN minus has a yellow color. What if you have both HIN and IN minus? Well, it's going to look orange. So again, we're going to determine the concentrations of H plus IN minus and also HIN to get the equilibrium constant for the acid ionization. And to get H plus, we'll measure the pH. The pH value is equal to negative logarithm of the concentration of H plus. And we're going to get the absorbance for two different solutions. They both contain both HIN and IN minus. And from the absorbance, we'll determine the concentrations of this two. Why is that? This is because the absorbance of the solution well, depends on the concentration of HIN and IN minus. We're using Beer's law twice. The first time we use Beer's law for HIN, the acidic form, we have this absorbance at 420 nanometers for HIN. And over here we have absorbance of IN minus 
at the same wavelength, 420 nanometers. So together, we have the total absorbance at 420 nanometers. We can do the same thing for a different wavelengths, 520 nanometers. Again, we have an equation over there. We have HIN absorbing light at 520 nanometers. We have IM minus absorbing light also at 520 nanometers. So in this experiment, we're going to prepare 100% acidic form, uh, red color. We're prepare 100% basic form of methyl red, yellow color. And we have two other solutions. In these two, two solutions, uh, we have a mixture of the acidic form and basic form. That's why these two look like orange color. All right, but you know, they have, this one is more red. This one is more yellow. That means in this solution, we might have more acidic form. In this solution, we might have more basic form. So how do we determine the concentration of HIN and IN minus in a mixture? We use a fairly complicated equation over here to determine the concentration of HIN. So what is this MR? MR is the concentration of methyl red in both acidic form and basic form, the total concentration. So we know the concentration of the stock solution of methyl red at 0 0.08 gram per liter. We can convert it to um, molar or mole per liter. But actually students will have to dilute this tenfold. That means uh, we have this concentration only 10% of the stock concentration. And how do we use these equations? Well, again, we will actually measure the absorbance of the two solutions and also the acidic and basic solutions at 400 nanometers and 500 nanometers. We will record those data and plug in those data here. Now I'm going to explain what this is. This uppercase A means absorbance. B stands for the basic solution, 100% basic. And then 520 is the nanometer. So this means, well, what's the absorbance at 520 nanometers of the 100% basic solution. Over here, this can be solution one or solution two. All right, so let's talk about solution one. Let's say solution one, and this is going to be the absorbance of solution one at 420 nanometers. So we're going to collect all those data, plug in the numbers. We will be able to determine the concentrations of HIN and IN minus in solution number one. And then we do the same thing for solution number two. Why do we need to do both? It's just because we will be able to determine the value of pKa for solution one, and then another pKa for solution two. These two values should be close to each other. And then we take the average of the two measurements. Now let's look at data analysis. The equilibrium constant for this acid ionization is H plus times IN minus over HIN. Again, we use the absorbance spectroscopy to determine the concentrations of IN minus and HIN. And we use a pH probe to get the pH for this solution. pH is equal to negative log. Uh, this is base 10 log, negative log of the concentration of H plus. So if you have a pH of 2, the concentration over here is 10 to the power of negative 2 molar. If you have a pH 3, that means this concentration is 10 to the power of negative 3 molar. Uh, we have uh, a lot of videos for this uh, Chemistry 183 lab this quarter. Um, they include the videos on pre-lab lectures, on pre-lab assignments, some standard operations, and data analysis. Uh, this is the playlist. So what you can do is you can just uh, simply just click this, and you can get to the playlist over here. And also, uh, for experiment number one, uh, the determination of K of methyl red, 
Uh, there are some videos on standard operations. For example, how to use a pipette bulb. And then we have a video here. Uh, this is how you use pipette bulb. Uh, we have a five second uh, advertisement. Uh, you can you can see um, watch this video yourself and also how how do we use volumetric flask how do we use a ph probe so i'm gonna click this as well all right listen up you got to calibrate that vernier ph probe before you use it let's get down to business you'll need a few things in addition to the ph probe so get organized and get moving first things first Load up Logger Pro and what? Alright, so that's pretty much it.